Hi everyone, Sharon here and welcome to my chemistry hub lab demonstration. And today we will be doing a redox titration. Remember safety gears when working in the lab, our lab coat, safety shoes, gloves and of course our goggles. This is a picture of the chemicals and glassware that we are working with today. So as you can see, we are conditioning our burette with a potassium permanganate solution. Conditioning essentially reduces the probability of contamination of the solution. Now, we are refilling our burette with the potassium permanganate. Notice how she removes the funnel before taking the initial reading. And remember, we always read at eye level to reduce parallax error. So now we are pouring our iron tool solution in a beaker. But first, we need to condition our beaker. We must pipette 25 ml of 0.01 molar iron 2 solution, iron 2 sulfate solution rather, in a conical flask. Take note of how she uses the pipette. She slants it against the conical flask in order to obtain all the solution from the pipette. Before we titrate, we need to add 10 ml of 0.1 ml sulfuric acid. Also, observe how she operates the burette. She swirls with her right hand and carries her left hand behind the burette to operate the stop clock. Notice the color change that took place which indicates the end point. It should be a faint pink color, so therefore we have passed the end point. However, we do these experiments in triple pets. And there we have it, our faint pink color. And of course, we take our final reading. We will talk more in our post-lab discussion. <laughs> 